What's up, it's the Canadian Fisher here on Nick Fleming Vlogs here. In today's video, uh, we're counting down my top 10 uh, favorite what catches of fish uh, in today's video. So just leave me a comment below if you want more videos like this. So uh, this probably will be going on my vlogging channel too, but don't know yet. So I guess this is my top 10 catches. So let's get right into today's slideshow. slideshow. It's going to be like a series of pictures, like a slideshow, except for me talking through it. So let's begin. So this is the first picture, the first photo. Um, th this is me with holding a chain pickerel. Uh, I was fishing the Oamato River, and I thought it was pretty cool because that was one of my biggest pickerels out of that river ever because you can catch smallmouth bass there and pickerel. So the smallmouth bass wasn't biting, really biting that day because the water was a little bit high. So I sh switched the lure up and changed to a different lure and got the chain pickerel, and I thought it was pretty cool. It's a big one. So this is photo number two. This photo is basically me holding a smallmouth bass. I, that was my first catch, catch, well, first trip of the season. We went, me and my friend Elijah Ryan and his son went to Nash Rock River. I I fished in uh, the St. John River in Fredericton before, but I never fished in the Nash Rock. And uh, it's really good fishing place in the spring. And look, and look what I caught. A smallmouth bass. It's not a very big one, but it would do. So this is a, a photo, photo number three. Uh, this is me holding a trout. It looks like a brook trout, but I think it's a sea trout because I caught it in my hometown. And uh, basically, uh, it's the river in my hometown. I won't say the uh, river what it's called because uh, I don't want anybody to know my uh, spots in my hometown. Basically, uh, there's a sea trout run go happens every spring either spring or fall i think it's in the spring sea trout go up to spawn and go back to the ocean but i think that's a sea trout leave me a comment below if uh i'm mistaken but i'm pretty sure what a catch so picture number four or photo number four this is me caught a chain pickerel while ice fishing now um uh this was a couple years ago uh but uh i think we were at the french lake when we caught this because uh we were catching perch and all that stuff we just weren't catching chain pickerel we were catching perch perch and stuff like that because you can target them during the winter too so so i guess we can move on to the next photo photo so this is photo number five. Now, um, uh, this is a smallmouth bass, and uh, this is caught in this got, was caught in the Oamato River in uh, Oamato, and uh, this is basically the same river that I caught the chain pickerel in the very first photo. Um, but it's a bigger bass. When you, I think that day I was using tubes, and the tubes were working that day. But when I caught that chain pickerel, they weren't. I had to switch up to a spinner bait, by the way. So uh, I was with my friend that day, Ray and um, Charles, and that was a great day. So number photo number six. Now this is a, might be another sea trout or brook trout. Uh, that's also caught in my hometown, which I don't really want to uh, say because I don't want. No, like spoil all my fishing spots if you know what I mean but uh boys trout look pretty I've on my opinion trout is one of the most prettiest fish I know about for around here on my opinion and this fi fish was not as big as the first trout I showed you but it's just in the same river as that exactly from the first trout picture I showed you it's a pretty long river on my opinion so moving on so this is photo number seven. Now uh, this is a smallmouth bass. It's not a very big smallmouth bass, not like the last picture, but this is another smallmouth bass from uh, the Nash Rock River. In the summertime, you can't go up it because it's too shallow, but in the spring, like you said, it's a really good river to fish. And if you go way up, like way up, um, you can fish trout, stuff like that, mainly trout, but uh, down down where it dumps into the St. John River. Um, you can catch smallmouth bass and stuff like that. And, uh, and they're n but striped bass, let's change the subject for a sec. Striped bass fight harder, on my opinion, but smallmouth bass fight hard too. But just not as hard as striped bass, but uh, I guess moving on. 
So photo number eight. Now this is a yellow perch. I caught it off a wharf off the lower part of the St. John River. It's called Caldwell's Wharf. I did a video and I got it from the video actually. And it's a not a very big perch, but I want to include it because I want to include some smaller fish too in the in the video. Also as big fish. Not so all fish matters to me. I don't care if they're big or small. Fishing is fishing. So yellow perch, perch I find are prettier than white perch because there's more colors in yellow perch. So photo number nine, um, this is a, a smallmouth bass. It's a bigger one than uh, some other smallmouth bass I had caught and they that's so that was caught in Woodstock, New Brunswick because in the spring they have a in the spring it's crazy like it's crazy but smallmouth bass fight fight there like crazy and they bite like crazy there and every time I my first time going there I never got skunked my friend Ray said he told me once if you while we were going there he told me if uh you can't catch up something at this spot in Woodstock you gotta quit fishing and I, I caught something I did quit fishing so I've I did have cha changed into a new hobby or change a hobby <laughs> So this is the last photo, photo number 10. Now this photo is a, a picture of a white perch. I forget where I caught it because uh, either Caldwell's Wharf, Humphreys, or uh, uh, Mott's Wharf because it's in Washtomoic Lake. On the Washtomoic Lake, those two wharfs actually, no, three wharfs. And basically uh, it's in Cambridge Narrows, New Brunswick. But uh we went, me and my friend Elijah went to all three wharfs and, uh, or two wharfs and I actually forget which one I caught it, uh, which one I went to and caught white perch on. But I find yellow perch is more prettier than uh, white perch anyways. But that wasn't a very big catch. We were using uh, spinner and worms that day because we were going on, we were after anything that bit or bites. And uh, that's what we caught, catfish, white perch and stuff like that, just small fish. It's always better to catch fish than getting skunked. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video. Uh, tell me, leave me a comment, comment below. Tell me about what was your favorite uh, part of this video or favorite catch. And leave me also leave me a comment below. What is your favorite, um, what was your mo most memorable catch? So I'm going to end it off now. So like, comment, uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to see more videos like this. Also, all my social medias is really down in the description below. But my pictures, I took from the videos, so not perfect. Uh, so subscribe to me for more content. And don't forget to put those no notifications on by clicking the bell beside my name. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Your old pal, Nick Fleming Vlogs is out, or the Canadian Fisher is, is out. See you guys next time.